Hello guys and welcome back to episode 4 of my Total War Warhammer playthrough playing as Norska on very hard difficulty and today it's a matter of moving up and testing things out I'm just going to continue up past Nagalfari Plain with Wolfric and we're going to get off to go say hi to Nagalfari Plain um, may as well move him in fast move, get him close and uh, then next turn if he can't do anything there then um, we can just move away there we go. Pretty much everything done for this turn. We're doing a technology to increase the melee defense and melee attack of our Marauder units. The rest of our buildings are pretty much done here. Doomkeep is only on a minus one and uh, once we get uh, the extra building that should cancel that out. Our Bjorling's gathering, everything's okay. We've got a few building slots that we can use once we get the cash and that's why I'm going to go raid Nordland. So let's move on to the next turn. The Nagal Farlings have been destroyed. Gundarask ready for duty. Okay, so I'm going to put him into normal stance. If we attack this, now we have to colonize it. Okay, so we'll do nothing for now. Maybe we'll just let Varg come and colonize it. Maybe they'll do that. If not, fine. Doesn't really matter. At Doomkeep, what do we want to build in this last spot? Probably the uh, building that gives us extra cash, honestly. Because we don't need the Warhound Kennels. We could build the Ice Troll Lair here. And then, as our fifth building in Ice Strike Fjord, we could get the Offering of Slaughter. That might be a nice idea. Yeah, I think we'll do that, because then we can just build cash places at Bjornling's Gathering. Which is what I'm going to do. Great. So we'll do that there. That's going to give us an extra 100 per turn in the next turn. What's our next unit that we can get? Marauder Berserkers at level 5. Goes up to level 17 where we can get Soul Crusher, which is a war ma mammoth. These ones, the Ice Forge Legion, the Great Moorherd of Bloodfjord, and the Cold Voider. Well, those two can only be... Um, taken if you've completed the monster hunt which we should unlock actually soon because I'm pretty sure we have an army big enough to go do a monster hunt or something now I I'm not entirely sure I've never played this campaign previously so this is like my first time through this and hopefully I'm doing it okay I mean so far we confederated three tribes uh, quite easily honestly I'm just interested to see whether or not we end up playing this like a chaos campaign because when chaos comes along I think you're their friend so that'll be weird not used to that at all but here comes Norska to raid the coast of Nordland so that should be fun let's move on to the next turn Nordland is going to move their army into these Schirfen I'm going to have to wait for my other army to arrive. Uh, in the meantime, what I'm going to do is jump onto land over here, I think. And uh, we'll start raiding. Also, this is okay because in the next couple turns, we'll be able to build another income building, which will make us 400 per turn and so on. We can just keep building that up until we can just have like two three like really big armies um oh this isn't good are they attacking that army on the water yes they are we can retreat from that i'm not entirely sure they might be able to follow us up what's that even made of that army because it might be worth us just jumping onto the the water and attacking them the correct path. wandering overrun the world the tribe consents Journey, the eternal challenger. 
Okay, we can't follow up. So, I guess we'll just leave it like that so that we can't get attacked again. Would have been good if we could destroy them on the water like that. Can you imagine getting rid of this entire army just from that? We'll, we'll end the turn, see what they do. They kind of delayed us a little bit. Although Wolfric did now level up, which is quite nice. And they're just going to go back to their settlement, which is fine. Okay, so this turn, we're just going to get back onto land. And we're going to raiding. And we'll do the same with this chap. And go into raiding. We'll level up. Oh, it's Evolda who leveled up. We can give him Spirit Leech. Fantastic. So we'll move as far as we can towards the ship and we'll keep these guys next to each other so that we can just raid away. And this is going to make us some money uh, at Ice Drake Fjord. Uh, I'm going to keep this here so that we can build an Ice Troll Lair. Um, meanwhile though, at the Vanaheim Mountains, this is just literally going to be a place where we can make more cash. So, may as well get the first dash, may as well get a loot pile to give us the extra research rate. And uh, we can continue with just those buildings. Meanwhile, at Hellspower Mountains, we need to upgrade these to clan enclaves. We have plenty of population surplus to do so. So that's another thing we need to save for. We just need money, and that's why I'm attacking uh, the well, Nordland. Right, let's uh, end the turn. What I'm likely to do is move into range of Didschirfen. But we'll have like Wolfric, for example, in this province, and then Ulf in the other province, and that will give us the maximum income that we can acquire from both provinces. Right, Ulf needs to be leveled up. So I think we might go for Route Marcher for the extra campaign map movement range. He does already have Dominating Presence. Yeah, Root March is just generally nicer. It allows him to keep up with Wolfric, who has the same. So we'll do that. Our technology is finished next turn as well, so there's no point in attacking this turn. And what I might do is maneuver my way past Dieter Schaefen to attack Selzamund. Basically force them to attack me in the open. Selzamund will have a pretty decent... Garrison compared to Deed Schaefen, though. I will not obey the eternal challenge. Right, next turn. That will be complete, our technology, and we'll see what happens. Oh, there's another army. Okay, they have two armies. That might be a little bit harder to attack then. The bestial servants. Your warriors can be even more effective when mounted. On the back of a beast, they will charge the enemy with greater ferocity and cut deeper into their lines. But should they break in wild horses or gain the obedience of a wolf pack? We get extra charge bonus for cavalry units, extra recruitment cost, or extra recruitment cost for skin wolf, Norskin ice wolves, and Norskin warhound units, but extra melee attack for those. I think the might of the wolves is probably better. Okay, so let's uh, move on round here. We'll stay in Raiding Santa, actually. Just need to make sure that I can go as far as I want. There we go. Great. We've discovered Middenland. They're being attacked by the Jagged Horn tribe at the moment. As for this cash that we're making, let's put it towards the Vanaheim Mountains, where we can get ourselves a loot pile. We could upgrade to a Beast Tanner there, get even more income, but I don't think it's quite worth it yet. So this is going to be interesting how we deal with 
Nordland. It's going to be pretty difficult. What do we want to do now, though? I think maybe go to, towards Corpulent Sails and then Champions of War because all of the time that we're dealing with Nordland, there's no point in having Monster Hunter. So extra campaign map movement range is great. And then Champions of War will give us extra unit experience for Marauder unit recruits. Getting Raiders of the East. The increased sacking income from Empire, Vampire Count and Greenskin settlements would be nice. Although, if it's Nordland, does it count as an Empire settlement? I don't know. I would assume it does. They all come under the same banner, really. This is going to get pretty dodgy, because I feel like they can they can run from one place to the other. I think the good thing about Wolfric is I think he can siege in one turn. Like, he has the siege attack at a tribute. So, we should just be able to assault this straight away. And if we can, then we'll most definitely win, in my opinion. So we can, but I'm going to bring my reinforcements around. We're putting them in normal stance so they don't have the uh, vigor loss. And this is going to be our battle. Lovely. I would love to see the Norskin battering ram and the Norskin siege tower eventually, but not this time round. We have a bunch of melee forces to deal with and a few crossbowmen. If they had more melee forces, I'd be worried. I think our Marauders units should be good enough to sort things out on their own though. So let's uh, quick save this and we'll fight it on the battle map. And here we are. So just got to work out how I want to attack this. Uh, I think we just climb up on this uh, this left side, honestly. Yep, we'll do that. I think Skimwolves might be, attack be able to attack the gate. If they can't, we'll just leave them hidden for now. I mean, we need to leave all of this stuff hidden that's on horseback and so on. And we have our reinforcements coming in behind us, so that's okay. The first things first, um, spearmen can go up because they have the highest melee defense, so they should be safe going up those ladders. Or safer, not really safe. Um, then we'll have, so that's four across there. Do we want to spread out then and go up, put marauders up on the sides? Uh, maybe. We'll put up the ice horn marauders up there and the berserkers on the far right, I think. And then the normal marauders can accompany the spearmen. Then we need to get the javelins up to the walls as well. We have Evaldo Fang in the Night who can use his spell on uh, the enemy leader. And then we have Wolfric who of course needs to get up a ladder as soon as possible. So we'll probably put up Wolfric first. So let's gamble for more wins because we may as well. We only have one spell we can use, so it doesn't really matter if we don't get any more. And that'll do. And we'll start the battle. I'm just going to pause it, set my orders. I'm going to have those spearmen come up behind Wolfric. Uh, then we'll have those spearmen go up there. Oh yeah, I forgot you could get three on each wall. Okay, so we'll put Berserkers up there. And these guys, um, the Icehorn Marauders, up there. Okay, then we need to get the Marauder Hunters with Javelins to roll up here and do their thing. And we'll have the Mage come up. Great. And as soon as our reinforcements come in, I'll run them forwards. We need to also make sure that our Marauders are moving up. Those towers are going to do a lot of damage though. And here comes the extra army. Not too many units, but we'll have them run on forwards. So far, so good. They're not taking too much damage, which is good. Hopefully our marauders, hunters with javelins will be in range. I think they will be. 
don't want them to get too close because they need to have the arc to be able to fire. Or more for it, get up there. And the Marauder Spearman can go up there as well. Fantastic. Make them run and get up there as well. Maybe we should put one up uh, far right as well. Javelin's doing their jobs. So these guys are coming in. We are being hit pretty hard here by those towers. And the good thing would be if we can get a spell across the wall. I think we can, which is pretty cool. Ah, uh, no, we can't. It says on a wall. Can't do that, unfortunately. Might be a bit broken if we could. I like the fact my javelins are doing a lot of damage, though. That's good. That will definitely help us out. Uh, those crossbowmen up there aren't very friendly. I think they stop you from putting on putting them on a wall. Uh, just because they it would be like really overpowered, like winds of death and stuff. Put spirit leech on that unit there because I don't think there's a, like a singular dude here. And if there is, he's on the main square, so it doesn't really matter. Okay, those guys are being hit by the uh, the crossbowmen. Can the skin morphs take down the gate? I think they can. So we'll just uh, have them run up now. Uh, my spearmen are in position, so we'll have them run down and attack the swordsmen, I guess. I might have this chap come over to this right side here. We'll get him onto the wall, up those ladders, and then we'll go and attack the crossbowmen. Yeah, like these guys, for example, they can go around and attack those crossbowmen. We can sort them out. Should be nice. On the walls, it looks like a lot of our units want to break, which isn't good. Vagilant's just uh, causing too much damage here. Gonna get uh, Wolfric to head over. We have some reinforcements, so we can have them climb up the ladders. Great. So we're going to take a lot of damage, but I think we should be able to win this siege. I'm never the most efficient when it comes to this stuff, and it looks like the lag's returning, even though it was perfectly okay for a little while. Okay, we can stop those crossbowmen firing, which will be good. Got rid of a lot of the units on the walls. Vagilant's just so annoying to attack. I'm gonna have these guys come in and help us out. Need to get this gate down, honestly. It's nearly there. These guys will probably fight to the death, but it's okay. They're a regiment of renown. We can just uh, get them back. So many of my units just being absolutely smashed to pieces on the walls here. We're okay. We've broken through. Let's now charge on towards uh, the crossbowmen, for example. We'll go take them out. Uh, the other thing is, that, well, there is some halberdiers here, but they're a bit of an issue. But they're going up onto the wall, so that's good. And uh, that means Wolfric can deal with them. We'll actually have Wolfric come down and, and smash them to pieces. Um, then we, what we can do as well is use his spell. So that'll be good. We've got a few units all left in the square to actually uh, deal with. 
on the walls, we're okay. Right, let's uh, have these guys all climb up. And since the walls are broken open, we can may as well bring in the uh, the units from outside. Let's have the skin walls uh, just run down these halberdiers. We just want to do as much damage as we can to like fleeing units so they can't like rally in the square. So that works. Um, those crossbowmen down there need to be dealt with. And we'll come down and attack them. They've got some swordsmen outside, and, but they're taking fire, so that should be dealt with sooner than later. And we need to get Ulfric down here to kill off these halberdiers for us. May as well have the skin wolves come in there as well, actually. And I'll have the ice hounds hit them as well. Great. Alright, so all of the units that have come over now can go and attack these swordsmen and so on. And what I want to do is uh, grab Wolfric and take him over there. We'll probably do that now, because then we can actually use some of his spells. Ideally, I would have done it sooner, but there we go. There is Wolfric over here as well, so we'll get our mage over here with Split Spirit Leech. We'll do that. These guys on the wall, they can uh, come from this direction and attack those halberdiers. Uh, more horsemen can just move up here and, and throw their javelins. Going to put them on uh, skirmish mode, just in case they get charged. Otherwise, should be okay. Same with these guys, actually. We might put them on skirmish mode, even though they, they, they'll they be alright in combat, honestly. Okay, Wolfric's nearly there. Yeah, we're starting to pepper that uh, halberdier unit, so that's good. Of all these men, they can run down to the bottom side as well with those swordsmen. So that's why I put them on skirmish mode, because you can see the halberdiers there, they can run towards our, our units. Get this, uh, this spell down. Hmm. Not the most ideal, ideal spell. Oh, the skin walls ripping through there. Love it. Very, very cool. This guy's just standing up there watching. We need to get him down there. And we'll have all of these chaps come round and help out as well. As we'll charge into the back of them now. And we need to get our sorcerer to put the spirit leech on that chap. Great. Uh, just the units over here need to come over here. It looks like certain parts of the map lag. I'm not. Maybe it's like death, death animation. Just trying to work out what causes the the lagging. Because. I mean, this is all the units again. And it's just like it doesn't really lag when I come over here. There's a lot going on. But that's victory. And we're going to end the battle there. And it most certainly was Pyrrhic, but totally worth it. Totally and utterly worth it, because that's going to give us an absolute ton of income. And we didn't even have to fight their main army. I mean, we could probably just retreat from their main army next turn as well. That's if I can't already move away from it in the first place. So we're going to sack it. And that's going to give us the Regiment of Renowned Mar Marauder Berserkers. Uh, can we get Ulf Einarsson to go back and attack it again? No, we can't. But uh, we're going to go into Raiding Stance now, I guess. As well. Upgrade Wolfric. We'll give him Voice of the Dark Gods Aura Increase. 
Actually, if we march away... Yeah, it might be worth marching away. This turn. So just so that we don't get attacked by the, the big army over there. But that's given us quite a lot of cash, so we can use that. Good that they're not venturing forth to attack Ice Strike Fjord, because they could probably just destroy it. Um, right, so much money now that uh, we can actually build stuff. So at Doom Keep. Actually, there's no point in building the Ice Troll Lair at Doom Keep because we won't be able to upgrade it. Yeah, so we're going to have to build it at Beyonding's Gathering. That's okay. Because then we can have the fully upgraded Ice Troll Lair. We can have the fully upgraded Raider's Camp. Although, actually, we don't... Actually, never mind. Okay, I, I've got an idea. We can we can do it this way around instead. We can put the Raiders Camp here. The Sparring Fields. We can delete that. And then we can build the Ice Troll Lair in its place. Okay. Um, what else are we going to do? I need to sort out the Public Order in Hellspire. We're going to upgrade to the Clan Enclave at Grayling Mood because that will allow us to upgrade to the Warwolf Dens. At Vanaheim Mountains, what were we going to build here? Because we can upgrade the Chaos Shrine to sort out the Public Order, so we may as well build something else here. And we're going to have built the Ice Troll Lair and so on. Maybe if we just upgrade, we can build the, the Chaos Topa Chaos Totem there, get the Feral Mammoths. And that will need a Ruinous Kiln as well. So yeah, if we upgrade to the Tribal Stronghold and the Vanaheim Mountains, that would be a good idea. Unless, actually, pretty money to be made elsewhere. It's easier if I go into my provinces. We can upgrade this, for example, to Beast Tanner. And we can upgrade this to a Beast Tanner. And then we can just build the Smithy there for now. And then when we upgrade this eventually to the Tribal Stronghold, then we can get the ability to build Mammoths. I think that's probably a better way to distribute the cash for now. We are going to get some more cash from raiding again soon anyway. So we're going to end the turn there. Salzman was sacked. Next time round we can basically raise it and build up a totem or whatever there. Where did that army come from? It's like an army out of nowhere. Great gained. And Serpent Jetty, let the games begin. Nice, okay. Oh, that's just a new army. Okay. Um, what we're going to do is sort of move towards Thalzamund again. And we're going to go into a raiding camp just so that our guys start to replenish. Oh, I didn't mean to move him in fast move. Oh well. Can we do some global recruitment? Never. I don't know. I kind of feel like we should just sack Salzamund again. Like we'll just uh, continue the siege here. We're going to have to attack it manually because I don't want to lose the units. And we can make it into like a, a shrine. That's what I'm looking to do here. But uh, I'll probably do it in the next episode. As unfortunately guys it has been my time. So you can look forward to the second siege of Salzamund in the next episode. I'll try and preserve some of my weaker units. And then we'll probably head back home after I've made this into a shrine. And then what we'll do is head back to Nordland once again to sack their other settlement and destroy them for good. So that's what we're going to do. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye.